Kane's life that is going to be from either with him being on defense when he just punches them a little bit. Hey, thanks so much for checking out the channel. If you're curious about any other hero in Empires and Puzzles, you can view my website at anchorgame.com. There you will find I have graded every single hero with a calibrated team of graders. This resource will always be free. Thinking about supporting the hero grades in the breakdown videos? You're welcome to donate. Otherwise, feel free to share this resource with a friend. I have my exclusive line group called Anchor Cove, where you gain access to myself and tons of other experienced players with on-demand information and resources. If that piques your interest, all that information is on the opening page of my website with a short video. Let me dive into today's Hero Breakdown. Hey, thanks so much for checking out the channel. Today we're going to be doing a brand new Hero Breakdown on Musashi. The drag wielding sword man, he's coming to slash out your enemies. He's got 786 on his attack, 679 on his defense, and 1248 on his health. Overall, statistically, that attack is super high. I'm really loving that. Defensively, we're struggling a bit. That sword isn't protecting you. He is running at fast speed. He deals 332% damage to the target and minor damage to nearby enemies. The caster heals 50% of the dealt normal damage for five turns. So essentially, he's just like Drake Fong, but worse. But, you know, he, he does just gain life, but doesn't give you any blinding, but he is hitting the enemy target fast speed. There's a lot of comparisons there. He is a rogue class hero. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. It is a free massive turn-based dark fantasy RPG. To try this game out, all you gotta do, go to the video description, click on the special links. You'll receive 100,000 silver, 50 gems, 10 mystery shards, and one free champion, Hexweaver. All your treasure, it's waiting for you right over here. So when we look at what he does with his abilities, that is quite a bit of damage at 332%. Now when he, when he gains life, that is going to be from either with him being on defense when he just punches them a little bit, or when you're on offense and you're using the tiles, that's the normal damage. So it's not, so over the course of five turns, any normal damage that you're dealing, you're going to be gaining that back in life. Pretty cool there. With him being a rogue class hero, this definitely does make him a bit more enticing, especially now on defense, because rogue emblems are one of the best emblems to be putting on your heroes. So when we take a look at what he does against the Titan, he is going to get a B plus grade there. Reason being solely because 786 is one of the highest in the holy heroes out there so that's where he really fits in if you are going to use him against a titan he does have really high attack power but you want to make sure you don't miss out on having defensive down or elemental defensive down his only place against a titan is going to be his high tile damage there and that's why he has a b plus when we look at his offensive grade he did get a bump up he is now a b plus grade hero he is running at fast speed, he is dealing a decent amount of damage, and he can also be healing, especially if you pair him with a whole bunch of other uh, yellow heroes, you could potentially be gaining a whole bunch of life back. I do like this hero, he does have a lot of advantages. This might flex into an A-, minus, especially with him being at fast speed. You could pair him really well with a hero like White Rabbit, because the White Rabbit deals a defensive down, and then you use him, you could essentially just knock out a whole team that way. So he does get a B plus grade there. When we look at his defensive grade, he is going to get a B plus grade as far as the tank grade goes, pretty much because he now is running at fast speed. But his problem is that his defensive stats are really, really low. He's not really suited for a tank. Not to mention, you're not really gonna be taking advantage too, too much of the caster uh, gaining a life. That's not gonna apply too, too much. So when we look at his flank grade, he is gonna get an A minus grade there. I have seen him used in the flank. There is some availability. The only redeeming factor that he has right now is that he is running at Rogue. So if people don't have Drake Dong, then they are using him. Uh, so there is a lot of compliments with him being on the defense, with him having Rogue emblems. You could essentially use him there. He does get an A-grade as far as a flank grade. 
And then in the wing, he is going to get a B plus grade there that might flex into an A minus. There is some usability there for sure, with it, especially with him being at fast speed. He's dealing damage to the target and nearby enemies and a quite a bit of it at that, especially with his high attack power. He does deal damage. I have been wiped out by this guy. You don't really, you don't really expect it. And then magically he goes off and you're like, wow, that's really cool. Three of my heroes are dead and this doesn't feel good. So he's going to get a B plus grade overall defensively. There is some usage for him, especially with him running at fast speed, hitting multi heroes. You're not too really worried about the gaining life, but he deals quite a bit of damage on defense. When we look at his weekly raid grade, he is going to continue to get that B plus grade. Reason being is he's already running at fast speed. So with him being at very fast speed, there's just some better heroes. But if you really need to, you could use him there. When we look at his buff grade, he is going to get a B plus grade as a buff. Reason being is that he's uh, another hero running at fast speed and making it so that he's dealing damage. I don't know if I've mentioned it, but the whole fact of him running at fast speed definitely impacts it, especially the damage part. And then we're going to continue that on. The trend is going to continue as far as Bloody Battle with him having a B plus grade. A fast hero hitting multi heroes, dealing quite a bit of damage. Pretty awesome. You're not too really worried about gaining the life back. So overall, he is going to get a B plus grade. This might flex into an A minus only solely on the fact that he does have rogue emblems, which makes him a lot more difficult to kill. He can move out of the way. Plus, he's healing himself. He's kind of a really cool hero, and it's one of the heroes that got better with emblems. So thanks so much for watching this content. Please make sure you subscribe, turn notifications on. And I'll see you on the next one.